guys, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I'd do a tutorial using my most underrated products today. I just kind of wanted to use things that I don't normally reach for or things that are my favorites that I don't really hear a lot of people talking about them. Some of you guys might have seen me use them in other tutorials um, and some of these you might just be like, whoa, I've never even heard about that before. So I really hope you guys enjoy this. Um, it's a really, really cool look that I haven't really done before. So if you're interested in it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe if you're an oldie but a goodie subby. Hey girl. So let's stop stalling. Let's get to the rest of the tutorial. Well, hello, hello. So I like to start off with my eyes first. Today we are going to use the good old tape technique um, because I kind of want a really nice, clean, crisp look to my eye makeup. So once that's done, um, I've got this really cool Cosette um, eyeshadow palette and I haven't heard anybody talk about this, but look at this. It's so cool. It's got tons of, well, six really good, nice matte eyeshadows. So if you're a matte kind of person, this is totally gonna be your jam. But of course, I couldn't forget about good old eyeshadow primer. Wet n Wild makes a really, really, really good one. Um, I'm just gonna apply that as a nice, good base. So once I've patted that in, I'm taking this color, I believe it's transition and I'm going to set the primer. These shadows are super like buttery um, so if you want to you can tap off any excess from your brush. This usually helps to eliminate any fallout. Now I haven't used this shade in a while but I'm going to use this um, Anastasia Beverly Hills color in the shade Caramel. I don't know if you guys remember, but they used to be like all the rage and now nobody talks about them, but I love them so much still. All right, so now that that's all nice and buffed in, I gotta go in with the main color from the same palette. It's called Empower. And this is a really nice kind of rusty caramel shade. What I really like about these shadows is that you can build them up or you can keep them really subtle looking. It's all about what you feel like for your particular eye makeup. So the goal here is we're gonna add like, we're really gonna make sure that these colors are blended together and then we're gonna add a little bit of shimmer on top. I really also wanna get close to my lash line. So see how that like plays really nicely with the my skin tone and the shape of my eyes. Now we're gonna go ahead and use a more precise blending brush and then we're gonna go into the shadow Trust which is like a deep burgundy color and then really go in at the edges here where the caramel shade kind of stops and I'm using like swirly motions to blend this in and I'm not gonna go past my crease color on this one stay right here in the outer corner bringing this into the crease just a little bit pushing it inward and then for the darkest uh, shadow in here it's called dignified and this is where I'm really gonna like smoke it out guys so keeping this on the outer portion and just blend it in with that burgundy shade that we added and add it slightly into the crease pushing it in towards the middle Okay, so I recently got this um, eye palette. It's called Pony Effect. The company Meme Box, they sent this to me, but look, you guys. Woo! All these shimmery shades. Like, I just love them. I love shimmery stuff. So I'm gonna go into this duo chrome shadow, and I'm going to be adding Fix Plus to my brush because I really wanna intensify this shade. Moving on, I'm going to be using this uh, black liner. It's from ColourPop and it's called Swerve. And I'm going to be using an angled brush to create a nice black winged liner. And then, of course, because I want this more precise, um, I'm going in with this Tarte brush. I don't know the name of it, but it's just like a liner brush. Awesome, and so now when I take off the tape, you can see I have a nice sharp line. And then let's move on to the face. So if you've seen uh, my last video, you guys know about this primer. It is super bomb. It's from Bobbi Brown. It just keeps all the oils in check. And I dot it under my eyes. It's also really good as like a nice daytime moisturizer too. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my Cover FX 
foundation. Now I know I always use this foundation and it's not something like brand spanking new, but I honestly don't hear anybody ever talking about it. Um, and I feel like it's a fantastic, fantastic foundation. So I'm just gonna use it. I mean, it's one of my staples. Okay, so moving on to concealer. This is the Pure Disappearing Ink 4-in-1 Concealer in the shade Dark. And um, I've only probably heard about one person talk about this when they first launched. And ever since then, I haven't heard anybody mention anything. But it's such a good, like, natural looking concealer. It doesn't really give you that super highlighted look. It's just nice for, like, covering your dark circles, you know? And I love this Eco Tool sponge. It's so freaking good. It just blends everything out so nicely. The best dupe I've found so far for the Beauty Blender. So moving on, I'm going to use my regular powders to set my face. I'm using the Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deepest and my darker Laura Mercier setting powder for under my eyes. Moving on to bronzer, I'm starting with this cream product. Uh, this is the Black Radiance True Complexion, which I love so much, you guys. And I feel like I hardly ever hear people talking about it either. I feel like this shade is one of the best natural contour cream shades I've ever been able to find. And it's super, super, super cheap. And of course we've got to set that, and I know this isn't exactly like brand spanking new, but it's something that I don't hear a lot of people talking about. This is the uh, Tartiste Contour Palette that they did the collab with Makeup Shayla, and I'm using this color right here. Because we always want to set like any cream product with a powder, you know, so it doesn't move throughout the day. Now for blush, I'm going into something that I haven't really used for quite a while. This is from Monica Kadar in the uh, shade Paradise. You only want to use a little bit. What I love about this one is it does have a little bit of shimmer in it. It's Oh, it's so cute. For highlight today, I'm using this illuminating fluid. It's from NARS in the shade Orgasm. And then I'm using my beauty blender to just blend that out. You see how nice and like subtle that is? It's so pretty. Moving on to a powder highlight, I'm using the Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion in the shade, ooh, 02 maybe? Uh, if it's the wrong one, I'll put it down in the description box. Now that the face is all set, I'm going for a nice lip color. This is from the company Nude Sticks um, in the shade Vintage. Now this is a total classic red. Um, I feel like it just goes well with that nice classic wing liner that I have on right now. Now this product is like really, really, really creamy. Um, I haven't really tested it for wear, but it just goes on so nice and it feels like you're wearing like a lip balm on your lips. It's so incredible. Okay, so that's it for this look. Um, I just wanted to, you know, give like a new spin to like an old classic look, which is what it kind of ended up being. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys will be back in the next tutorial. I love you guys. See you in the next video. Bye.